is your girl Unique Light Job One back on your screen and welcome back to Unique's Kitchen. <laughs> so before we start for today, I want to seize this opportunity to thank you guys very much for your support, for all your views, your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. I don't take it for granted. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. And if this is your first time of seeing me, if this is your first time of stopping by, you're highly welcome. Please do me a favor to click on the subscribe button to join this beautiful family already. And to my oldies, you guys know you guys are the dopers, like the dopers club. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Keep supporting your girl. All right, without further ado, let's get to this business. So today, guys, I'll be making my own special coconut fried rice. This recipe is the bomb trust me when i say it is the bomb so guys i'll be uh introducing you to my ingredients shortly okay so um please after watching this video if you like this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share this recipe is the bomb trust me if you try this if you cook this in your house your husband will increase the money he's to give you <laughs> Trust me, like you're gonna take charge, okay? So try this recipe out. So I'm gonna introduce you guys to my ingredients for this powerful coconut fried rice, okay? So I'll be introducing you to the ingredients shortly. So without further delay, without further ado, let's get right in. Let's get right in. Once again, it's your girl Nicolette Obi Wanda, and this is Eunice Kitchen. Let's start cooking. As you can already see on the uh, camera, here I have my green bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, and red bell pepper. Then I have my carrots here. I have my onions diced. I have my uh, bay leaves. Then I have my pepper mix here, guys. What I have in here is I have my parsley leaf here, onions, and scotch bonnet or habanero pepper, depends on what you call it. And uh, here I have just some nutmeg I love the flavor it gives to the food just half of the whole nutmeg so and here guys I have I have my uh, fresh coconuts I blended it and I'm gonna sieve it out then of course my chicken guys as you can see I already washed the chicken so I'm about to start seasoning it and of course my rice this is abacast rice already parboiled and washed okay so here I also have my I have my uh, coconut milk I'm just gonna add it to the fresh coconut I have already and these are the spices I'll be using this is a uh, locally mixed spice I brought this from Nigeria so I they have a uh, a lot of spices mixed here, curry for one, and uh, some other stuff so I don't really know. My mom missed that for me. And I have my rosemary, guys. This is amazing. It gives your chicken especially a very nice flavor. And I have unga. This is unga classic. I'll be using a bit of it. And I have here, I have some... Um, mama dough uh, seasoning cubes and I also have no seasoning cubes so I'm going to take a few of each and mix inside of it and of course I have my blended pure thyme blended thyme yeah as you can see in here and of course my iodized salt and uh, what is in here I have my ginger powder yeah did I tell you that I have garlic in my pepper mix, yes, I have garlic in my pepper mix. So, and also I have my vina seasoning, chicken seasoning, um, spice, or whatever. Then I also have another chicken seasoning spice here. Big Mama, just a little bit of each. It's going to give the rice a very lovely flavor. And of course, I have my crayfish here. I cook mine with crayfish. It's optional though. If you don't like crayfish, you can skip this particular one. So... I think I've shown you everything. So here are all the ingredients I'm going to be using to prepare this this blockbuster. <laughs> is there a thing like that? This is my blockbuster recipe of coconut rice. Trust me, try this at home and you're going to be the boss lady, guys. All right? So here are the ingredients. So without further ado, 
let's start cooking guys yes and I forgot to show you guys my I'll be using coconut oil guys if you're making coconut rice try as much as possible to use coconut oil it gives it a very nice don't use ordinary vegetable oil so here's my coconut oil for this wonderful recipe guys so let us start cooking remember it's vlogmas 2020 and this christmas period you don't have to be eating boring food like i told you so let's continue guys let's season the chicken guys so i'll quickly go in with my nut mints and of course my seasoning cubes and i'll go in with my rosemary dried rosemary and of course my mivina chicken spice it's a brother from nigeria then i went in with my garlic powder my salt and of course i'll go in with my locally mixed uh, spices i brought from nigeria and my pepper mix i have parsley leaves habanero pepper and the onions there then i'll mix well to make sure that all the seasoning get into the chicken or parts of the chicken so i'll quickly go in with my bay leaves after now so i'll go in with the bay leaves then i'm gonna cover this and let it cook for like 10 minutes it's 10 minutes later guys so as you can see our chicken is well cooked so what i'm gonna do now i'll just have to bring the chicken out from the fire because we need to fry it so i'm just gonna remove the chicken from the stock and separate it so as to get ready to fry the chicken guys let us go <laughs> thank you guys for watching keep watching stay tuned okay so we'll just start frying the chicken right away right about now guys we're frying the chicken so i'm just putting in the chicken inside the preheated oil so i'm gonna fry each side for three minutes and it's done Okay, so keep watching guys, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, so we are done frying our chicken. As you can see here, we are done frying our chicken. So. Now it's time to start cooking the rice, okay? So here I have my pot on the fire and it's already preheated. So I'll just quickly go in with my coconut oil. Not so much. This is enough. So I'll go in with that. And... Uh, Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some onions. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to fry it. The onions a little bit. I'll just quickly go in with my rice. I'm gonna fry this rice. This is uh, coconut fried rice I'm making, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my rice now. And then fry. So, this rice, I'm gonna fry this rice for like two minutes. Two minutes, okay. All right, guys, so the rice has been frying for two minutes. So immediately I went to my chicken stock and of course my pepper mix. So I also went in with my fresh coconut milk and the tin coconut milk at the same time so i had to stir and taste for salt and seasoning then before i added one more seasoning cube then of course my black pepper my garlic powder and my onga this is classic onga 
and I also tasted for the seasoning. Then I added more salt. Before you add anything, please taste, guys. All right. So I added crayfish. This is optional, but I love that local flavor in my coconut rice. So, guys, we're going to cover now. So, guys, I'm covering this with my paper foil, and this is because I want to trap the heat. Okay, so all the seasoning, all the uh, spices will not go out. So when it uh, starts boiling, it will trap all the flavor back inside the food so it doesn't evaporate. So, and I think it also gives it that very nice flavor. I just think so. So I'm just going to use the paper foil to cover it first before I cover with the pot cover. So it's going to trap the heat. Then we'll come back after 10 minutes, guys. We'll let this cook for 10 minutes. Then we're going to come back after 10 minutes. So stay tuned, guys. 10 minutes later. All right, guys. So open this up and see. Okay, so our rice is properly cooked. So now, the purpose of us frying that rice then was to make sure that the rice is single, it doesn't stick together. And I'm sure we achieved that. Alright, so I'm gonna put set this aside and we'll fry our vegetables, okay? Right, guys. You can see. Okay, guys. So now I'm gonna fry my vegetables here. So the uh, pan is dried already, so no need to wait. So I'm just gonna go in with my pan, or so my coconut oil rather. Not so much. Just gonna let this fry. I'll let this heat for like one minute. At this point, guys, my oil is preheated enough, so I added my onions and my bell pepper. I stirred for a while, then I added my seasoning cube, of course, my salt, my local meat spices. And a little bit of my Mivina chicken spice just to give the vegetable a beautiful taste. So after that, I stirred for a while, then I went in with my pepper mix. Okay, so I also stirred it for a while, and I'm just gonna stir this and taste for salt and everything. While you're adding anything, please taste for salt. So I immediately added my carrots because I didn't add it earlier because I don't want it to overcook. So I added my carrots and my green bear pepper all right so i'm just gonna stir this for two to three minutes and it's done like done guys i'm really having fun doing this video and i'm sure you guys are having fun watching it so let's continue guys. all right guys so as you can see the, my rice is back on fire so i'm just gonna pour this my, okay so i'm just gonna pour this rice in here Coconut rice is ready, guys. This, this recipe, guys, is the bomb. Just try this recipe out and let me know what you think about this recipe. This is like the best way to make coconut rice. Trust me, guys. This is the best way to make Rice. I'm not even kidding you. This is the best way, guys. So at this point, to taste for salt or anything. Mm. So, 
so guys as you can see our rice is ready and it's looking so good guys and this food tasted so amazing guys so as you can see i added my chicken this is optional though but i just want to add it so the thing will smear inside the food and everything thank you guys very much for watching this video like i i cannot wait to dive in guys like this food tasted so so good my husband was like whoa this is something else so guys try out this recipe and take charge can you see that food like this is good good food guys try this recipe out is the bomb and if you try please i want to see reviews okay thank you guys very much so let's dish for watching this video i'm sure you like this recipe please let me know in the comment section what you think about this lovely recipe let me know if you're gonna try it out let me know if you like the recipe and if you sure try this out please don't forget to leave a comment below and let me know i want to see reviews on this recipe trust me this recipe is amazing Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for sticking around with me. Thank you for watching my videos. If you stayed up to this moment, you are the real, real VIP. Like V, 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 VIP. You are the real Z. You are the dopa. You are the wenge. <laughs> Thank you very much. So till I see you in our next video, continue supporting your girl. Please, like I said, if this is your first time of stopping by, just give us a like, okay? Just give us a thumbs up. Like, it's free of charge just click on the thumbs up like 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 i want to know like it encourages me to know that you guys enjoy what i do on this channel so please don't forget to like it's very essential for my channel and don't forget to share and if you've not subscribed please join this wonderful family this on this channel we slay but we slay and we cook we know they slay with that with empty brain. We slay when we are good in the kitchen, we are good all around, like food package, okay? When it comes to beauty, we are there, but we also cook. Alright. So thank you guys very much for staying to this moment. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Keep staying safe, keep being you, keep being positive, keep sharing positivity all around. I love you guys very much. It's your humble girl, Unique Elijah, sign out.